How to create an animated glow effect behind text in DaVinci Resolve 19. Inside your project's edit window, go to Effects. Underneath Toolbox, select Effects. Go to click and drag a Fusion Composition clip to your edit timeline. Press A for the Selection Mode tool and click and drag at the end of the edits if you wish to adjust the duration, keeping an eye on the duration difference at the top and the total duration at the bottom inside the box that appears alongside your mouse cursor. Let go once you're done, right click on the Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Nodes panel, ensure that the Media Out 1 node is not selected by clicking anywhere in the Empty Nodes grid. Go to Add a Text Plus tool from the Nodes options above. Select either the left or right view option underneath this new node to see a preview of your text above the Fusion timeline. With Text 1 selected, go to Inspector and underneath Text, Type in the message that you wish to have appear in your final effect inside the text box. Adjust the font, weight and size as you wish. Here in this example I will set the font to Open Sans with a bold weight and a size of 0.315. Double click on the box next to Colour and select Black from the basic colour presets. Click OK. If you wish to adjust the space in between each of your characters, select Transform and adjust the value for spacing. Here in this example I will set this to 1.1. Deselect text 1. Go to add a merge tool from the node options above. Click on the grey box alongside text 1 and drag your mouse cursor to the green arrow alongside merge 1 which represents the foreground as we wish for the black text to appear in front of the glow so that this is readable. Select text 1 once again. Holding Ctrl or Command if you're a Mac user and press C to copy. Deselect text 1. Holding Ctrl and press V to paste. Deselect your duplicated text 1 node. Hold and shift and press space. Use the search box at the bottom of the select tool window to find the fast noise tool. Select this and go to click on add. Connect fast noise to the duplicated text 1 node. With the text 1 duplicate node selected, hold and shift and press space once again. And this time go to select Gaussian blur which should be automatically connected to the text 1 duplicate node. With Gaussian Blur still selected, hold and shift and press space once again, and go to add a glow tool with GLO in parenthesis. Again there should be a connection of nodes, this time to Gaussian Blur 1. With Glow 1 still selected, hold and shift and press space once again, and go to add a raise tool. Connect this latest node to the yellow arrow alongside Merge 1, which represents the background as these top 5 nodes in the nodes grid will represent the glow behind our black text that we initially created for text 1. Connect merge 1 to media out 1 so that the effect will appear in our final video clip. Ensure that either left or right view is selected underneath media out 1 so that you can preview your glow effect as we work through the rest of this tutorial. First select the duplicated text 1 node and underneath inspector and text change the colour from black to white. Select Fast Noise, go to Inspector and underneath Noise, double the contrast value from 1 to 2 to help the whiter sections of our glow stand out more, and increment brightness to 0.7. To adjust the light rays so that they resemble the form of the letters more, increment scale from 2 to 20, which will increase the amount of vibrancy behind the text, and to animate the glow effect we will need to increment the value for seeth rate. Here in this example, I will increase the value here to 0.2 so that we can see gentle movement of the glow behind our black text. The higher this value, the faster the glow shape will change. Now select Gaussian Blur. Ensure that the Gaussian Blur strength is set to 0.4. The higher this value, the more faint and softer the rays will appear. Now select Glow. In order to create the light blue-green effect of my glow, I will deactivate the red and alpha channels of my glow effect by selecting the A and R icons towards the top of the control properties, leaving green and blue activated. To enhance the vibrancy slightly once again, including for this newly applied colour shade, I will increment the value of glow size to 15. And to increase the intensity of the green-blue shade around the white glow behind my text, I will increment the value for glow to 0.955. With rays selected, under Inspector and Controls, 
reduce the strength and length of the rays by decreasing blend to 0.25. And to intensify the glow slightly from the characters themselves, I'm going to increase the weight here from 3 to 4. If you wish to have the white central parts of your glow more apparent in your animation, you can return to the duplicated text 1 node and increment the size of the text slightly underneath text in inspector. Here in this example I will increment the size from 0.315 to 0.325. And then under transform I will bring the glowing characters together more by decreasing the spacing value to prevent the glowing characters from spreading out too far. Here I will decrease the value of spacing slightly from 1.1 to 1.08 to help centralise each of the enlarged glowing sections behind their relevant characters. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.